Well, some big news for our next guest here, Mark Lampkin, back in the studio. And congratulations are in order, everybody, because he is going to be a grandpa again. Mark Lampkin's here right now. What? Poppy, Yay! Poppy number two. Yay! I was so excited. Woo! I can't stand oh it. Oh my goodness. Did so, you, you knew this was coming though? I knew it was coming, but we did not know the sex until last week. So I think we have a video. You got it? Because we love a gender reveal. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Oh, uh, baby and I'm girl. Not, I'm not going to tell you what Josh, my son-in-law, said when he saw that it was pink. Aww. And little Millie. Little Millie. She's going to be a Millie. My, Poppy's gonna call her Millie Bean. It's of actually you are. Miller. So it's a good strong Kentucky beer name. <laughs> Is that how you do you all sit around on vacation and go, okay, what's the name's gonna be? Neither Which one beer of them cans drink, have neither, we not? Neither one of them drink beer and it's oh Miller. I'm like, God. how did we come up with this? Love so that. it's gonna be Millie oh, Bean. Oh, aren't you? Everybody has to be so excited. Oh, my daughter is the perfect Nikki nurse, Aww. gonna be the perfect mother between Emma Grace and Millie Bean. We're gonna be the perfect family. Does Emma Grace know what's going on? Like, does she get that she's gonna get a baby sister? I, not yet, but <laughs> I don't think she's going to be happy because oh. Emma Grace <laughs> loves to be like, all with oh, Poppy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So she's, she's gonna, gonna have, have to share to, like, Poppy. She's gonna have to share you. Nah, right, she's not gonna be happy what? for a while. Yeah. How's Jennifer doing with it? She loves it, yeah. we're so excited. Yeah. We, I'm not gonna and lie. And they live like right near you too, so you can they, like help support it. They do, and I, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I wanted Knox Thomas, but when Millie Bean's here, I'm not gonna trade her in. Right. We're gonna have to bring her on the show and remind her. That Daddy just wanted means a, right. more. More. Granddaddy that just means wanted more a boy. Poppy, more. More grandchildren. <laughs> more. Even more. Love the reveal, but congratulations. Thank you We're so, so much. We're so happy for you. Thank you. Uh, so today on the Money Moment, we are talking about something I feel like raises a lot of people's blood pressure property taxes you know when you get that bill in the mail and you look at it and you're thinking there's no way there's no That's way this right. went up and then you look at all the fees and it makes you so mad and there's something that you're bringing up here that is kind of guiding people through right you can appeal the bill most people don't know I didn't that, know that. Right? and so January 1st property taxes come out you've got this year actually they expanded it till April 21st you can start that appeal process here's a couple things you need to know hmm. one is you have to go through an in-council service with the PVA before you can appeal you submit the form and it's it's imperative that you know the rules on what you're doing um, second if you're over the age of 65 or you just turned 65 remember you get a homestead exemption uh -huh. so you get your property taxes cut but with this real estate market, the way it's been the last several years, starting to go the other way, mm. this is the first year, or 2023, you can appeal and probably win. So this is going to oh, wow. be upcoming. This is going to be a good time to do you this. You know, wh what are the odds? I mean, do people typically appeal? Do you see those numbers where this is like a really popular thing to do? I've never yeah. heard of this. So I've last night, I read two different articles. One said 30%. The other article said 60% of folks have the right to appeal and would win if they did it. So the first but thing you got to do, yeah, but the first thing you got to do is a cost benefit, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you want to go through the process and save $20 or did they make a mistake? Check to see if they made a mistake. Second is, look, if prices do start to come down, this mm -hmm. is the first time I've heard this, Claudia. I had a realtor tell me yesterday that someone that uh, bought a house six months ago is about $20,000 underwater right now from where yeah. they could sell it because houses are starting to slow. Oh, wow, the market so dropped if these that much. prices are starting to come down next year, you're going to be able to appeal and you will be able to win. First thing to check is with your realtor to see what they're going for. But if you're going to get serious and you're going to win, yeah. you're going to have to spend two or three hundred bucks on an appraisal right. and take it so you have it documented where you can win. But you can win huh. this. So do you need like an independent person to go argue this for you or appeal it or take a look at it? Or are you totally OK kind of gathering that 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 evidence, if you will, by yourself? Yes and yes. Yeah. So yeah. if you know what you're doing mm -hmm. and or have, are good friends with a realtor and can take that um, those neighborhood comps or if they've made a mistake, check your insurance policy mm -hmm. versus your tax bill if they made a mistake on square footage. Yeah. Or you they said that you, you know, put a back like room a lot of on common and you mistakes. Have it. Yeah. Yes. Common basic things. I and didn't put a back room on. That, if you put a back room on, that could be fifty thousand dollars. Well that could be four or five hundred dollars a year, you know, in, in property taxes. So you've got to know what you're doing. It's worth spending some money, but if you have a drastic increase in your property taxes, it's worth spending that couple hundred bucks on fighting this because you mm. can win this. You wow. can. And so is there one place to go to like know what you can pull together as far as documents? Yeah, the Property Value Administration, the, uh, 
Louisville and Kentucky does a great job on their their, their governmental sites yeah. and the, the PVA system. And I don't know if it's PVA.org or not, but if you Google Louisville property taxes, mm. it will give you where to go. And they do a really nice job because I was on it last they have night. Like a click box that says to appeal. You can like follow. Yeah, and you can download the form right off of that. Perfect. But they make you do an in person council session first uh -huh. so you know what you're doing. So it's imperative that you know the rules because it sets you apart because you don't want to go in there and not know what mm -mm. the heck you're doing. Bring all your stuff at once. Know uh, the rules, have an independent person, yeah. start with your realtor to see that if you can even, if it's worth appealing, and then you are going to have to get that independent person, but you can, you can win this. do it. My yes. mother's taking notes right now. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, be Coffee, down, I'll help you, I will be down at the PVA office. <laughs> like, well, it's just, you know, when you have more development coming in your area, you know, it's, it's bound to happen. So what is that window of time again? So if they come out in January, you need to take a yes. look and what get things in so by April. Usually it's May 1st. This year they gave you to May 21st, mm -hmm. right? And you only have 45 to 60 days. One mm -hmm. last thing. COVID. Uh. If you're in commercial properties, you can, you're, you have a better chance of appealing and winning, especially if it's strip center or a small commercial building. Why is that right now? People working from home, commercial property prices have went down. Yeah, Mortgage value. rates have doubled in price. That's another reason on the personal side that price housing prices are starting to come down some. But commercial property owners especially mm. have a great chance of winning. But personal housing owners, and if you turn 65, don't forget that homestead Homestead's, exemption because yeah. that's going to save you hundreds of dollars the rest of your life. All right, Mark, thank you so much. Stick around. We're spinning the Millie wheel. Bean. Millie Bean. Millie Bean. Mark's going to be a granddaddy again. <laughs> Poppy. All right. So if you're interested in getting more information or scheduling your first visit with Mark Lampkin, head over to lampkinwealth.com or give him a call at 690-6764.